super dark now I found a good spot that is high um, it's elevated but still flat so if it does rain I don't get um, water puddles hopefully it should just uh, go down the trail and not up here I don't know if you can see the wind rattling the tent you can probably hear it you can hear the ocean and you can hear the wind it hasn't started raining yet, but it's so moist, it's just all fog. It's basically like very fine rain constantly hitting the tent and everything around it. Everything's damp. You see this towel over there? The moisture was, was actually coming into the uh, ventilation. And I put the towel there so nothing gets wet in here. It's just like this mist coming in. It's crazy. Well, it's pretty windy. Yeah. That is what you get when you have an all mesh tent. <laughs> it's super lightweight and small. But in weather like this, it just captures all the moisture in the air. Crazy. I haven't had this uh, at all. I used this tent for two years now. It has never happened before. But I guess these are extraordinary conditions here today. why I love the Hilleberg so much because you put it together even when it rains everything's already together but here I now have water puddles in my tent because you have to put them up separately things do actually dry a little bit there even though it's so moist in the air I actually love laying in tent and just looking at the ceiling looking at the raindrops and it's very cool I love camping so much I could do this almost every weekend not quite every weekend This is by far the smallest space I ever used for my tent. I couldn't even spread out the vestibules at all. Uh, a little bit on one side. A little bit on the other side, but barely. the most wind this tent had to uh, work through. It's doing well. Mm. Oh, 
all that rain. I have to turn down the mic. It's too loud. This is my view at sunset. Not too shabby. Yes, it would be much nicer to sit outside, but this is the next best thing. And it's nice to sit around and actually not have a bug net for a change. I slept pretty well, except when the moisture um, started dripping down from the tent. Uh, actually, I noticed already when I went into the tent that um, moisture was collecting everywhere. And I briefly debated to put the rainfly on, but I didn't want to miss the chance to sleep under the stars, so I just dealt with it. <laughs> Everything is wet. I actually uh, took the towel last night and wiped everything off a little bit but of course it collected again and all over my sleeping bag I have uh, little puddles Look, little puddles from where it came down from the ceiling I debated for a year and a half if I should invest into something like this, if I should actually, uh, if I will enjoy winter camping. And I tried it with my three season tent last year, uh, an all mesh tent uh, with a rain fly, and it actually worked out quite well. But I wanted to get something a little bit more sturdy and uh, warmer this time around. <laughs> 